Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lavinia Latham. I'm a human rights lawyer with a love for all things beauty, finance, and personal development. Watch this video all the way to the end if you wanna know exactly what are the 13 proven habits to give up if you wanna be successful in life. Don't forget to hit up that notification bell button too if you wanna be notified every single time I post a new video, which is usually on Sundays. As a litigation lawyer, I've had the unique opportunity to be able to go to school, work, and just generally network and socialize with people who are very successful. Because I'm around these successful people all the time, I've actually had the opportunity to realize and understand those habits that people who are successful generally have versus those habits that people who are not quite successful don't necessarily have. Number one, people who are successful don't really befriend toxic people. The thing about toxic people is that if you've got a positive energy, you've got something going for yourself. Being around toxic people really takes you off of that positive path, that positive journey. Two, making excuses. I've noticed that people who are really successful don't tend to make excuses. When they have an issue, when they make a mistake, because we all make mistakes, they tend to own the mistake and then they tend to kind of correct paths and not do it again. Number three, being a perfectionist. This one's a little bit on the, I guess, cusp, because on one hand, being a perfectionist can really lead to stellar results, but then on the other hand, it can also keep you stagnant and stuck in the same place for fear of making a mistake. Now, those who I know to be successful have a common mantra that they kind of all subscribe to in one way or the other. Done is better than perfect. Successful people tend to just jump in, head first, make the mistakes, if it's perfect, fantastic. If it's not, that's fantastic too. They learn from it and they move on. So habit number four that you wanna give up is multitasking all the time. The whole point around giving up this multitasking need is that you're gonna be able to hone in, use your full 100% capacity of your brain to really focus on one task and to really just kill it. Habit number five that people who are successful tend not to have is binging on social media. This is also another one that kind of teeter totters in the middle in the sense that it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world to be on social media. It just becomes a problem when you're doing too much of it. Are you trying to be as successful as you possibly can be? If that sounds like you, then go ahead and leave me a yes in the comment section down below so that we can really get this journey started. Habit number six that you want to give up if you're trying to be successful is always needing to be liked and popular. A lot of the times being well liked and popular means drinking, partying, you know, sometimes drugs. Chances are likely the next day you're not going to be very productive. Unfortunately, that's going to take away from whatever it is that you're trying to be successful in. You're just not going to be able to show up in the same way that you would if you were completely sober. Number seven, crumbling in the face of adversity. Whenever successful people tend to come across adversity or some type of issue in life, they rise to the occasion to figure out what the problem is and to immediately figure out a solution. Habit number eight, having a negative self-image. To be successful really requires you to trust in yourself and to have a positive self-image of yourself. And if you don't have that, it's gonna make the journey that much more difficult to rise to the occasion of becoming successful if you inherently think negatively of yourself. That time you spend having negative um, self-talk and a negative self-image of yourself really does take away from being the great person that you actually are. Habit number nine that you're gonna wanna give up is not engaging in long-term goal planning. If you don't have a goal, it's gonna be really hard to know where your direction is, where your journey is going, all of those things that are really gonna make becoming successful easier. Versus those who are not as successful, you know, they're kind of living day by day, they don't really care to make a goal for themselves, they're just kind of existing. If that's you, that's a habit that you're gonna wanna kick ASAP if you wanna turn the tide on your life around and you wanna start seeing some wins. Habit number 10 is saying yes to everything. I'm not advocating for you to say no to everything, what I'm advocating for you to do is to really start to assess what deserves a place in your life and in your time versus what doesn't deserve to be in your life and on your time. You're gonna find yourself more freed up. You're gonna find yourself in a better state of mind. And when you do say yes to things, you're gonna find yourself really fully enjoying it, which is actually going to enrich your life. Number 11, being unhealthy. Successful people 
typically try very hard to be as healthy as they possibly can. If you're trying to be successful, you really want to give up the habit of eating junk food, not exercising, really not caring about the health of your body. So by kicking this bad habit to the curb, you're going to find yourself having less doctor's visits. Now, don't take it from me. Definitely go to your physician, whoever your, your doctor is. But I could bet a pretty penny that you're going to be really hard pressed to find a doctor who's gonna say, no, that's not true. <laughs> you're just like, it's just not gonna happen. Number 12 is dreaming way too small. So if you're somebody who's dreaming way too small, you are literally cutting your chances of success for yourself. Dreaming way too small can be, I don't think I can make it past my job in the role that I'm in. I don't think that I can ever lose weight or I don't think that I could become a lawyer or a doctor or whatever it is that that successful piece in your life looks like. You can be whatever you want to be. If you wanna be an astronaut, you can be an astronaut. It all starts up here. Dreaming way too small for me is a really big one because you are what you think. And I really do believe that when you put those positive thoughts out there into the universe, it really does come back. And last but not least is number 13, never committing to anything. Trying to become successful and wanting to become successful is a commitment in and of itself. And it's a commitment that requires perseverance and determination, goal setting. All of these things require some level of commitment. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, hit up that subscribe button, and don't forget to also tap the notification bell button too so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video, which is usually on Sundays. Check out these videos next for even more life success advice. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.